Get ready to be taken on a journey to a hidden gem of Southeast Asia, to Brunei Darussalam. Mostly advertised as the kingdom of unexpected treasures, or as I like to call it, the land of the golden mosques. To introduce myself, my name is Jean-Marc Bale, mostly being called Jemo. I've been staying for the past three years in Singapore, doing a PhD, and I had quite a chance to travel across most of the countries of Eastern Asia. And by the way, if there's any Brunei watching this video, I would like to send my regards. Salamat hari orang Brunei, saya sangat suka negara Brunei Darussalam. Sharing my travel experience, I would like to start off with this small little kingdom. This is Brunei, the land of the Golden Mosques. Giving you an idea what are the most worth places to visit, I would like to start with number 6, the Masjid Omar Ali Saifuddin. Well, I'm pretty sure you've seen this place on various photos because this is the country's landmark and a symbol of national pride. Most probably because it really reflects the immense wealth of Brunei and on the other side it highlights the importance of religion to the people. If you're walking around in the capital of Bandar Seri Begawan, you impossibly can't miss this place as it is visible from basically every corner. With its massive golden dome and marble walls, this mosque is a masterpiece of Malay and Mughal architecture. It's a very good idea to come here during the sunset, as during that time you can take the very best shots of this mosque. Alright, now let's move on to number 5, the Jame Asri Hassan al -Bokia. This worship place is named after the current Sultan of Brunei Jerusalem, another must if you're planning your visit here. It's located a little bit outside of the heart of Bandar Seri Begawan, however, you easily can access this place by taking a cab. My advice is to come here during sunset, the golden hour to take photos. Even for myself, I've taken some of the greatest shots during that time. This is Brunei meeting Agrabah from Arabian Nights. Look at this mosque, one of the most beautiful ones I've ever seen in my life. Definitely, you will not regret coming here. Number 4, observing the sunset at the Empire Hotel was definitely one of my highlights during my Brunei visits. This place is quite far from the capital and therefore you will need to come here by cab. Once you enter this hotel, you're soon gonna be overwhelmed by its magnificent interior. Its name is no longer gonna be a surprise to you as you truly will feel that you're standing in a palace. The really best thing about this place is that the admission to the hotel and its beach is free, why you should really not miss out a visit here. Walking down the escalators, you find access to the beach, where you can experience a picturesque sunset. You may not think this trip is all about sunsets, and yes, I definitely won't disagree with you about that, because in Brunei and Borneo in general, sunsets are fantastic, and this on a nearly daily basis. Number 3 is my advice to all culture lovers. If you're into exploring traditions, Kampung Air is the place to go. It's an old Malay floating village that is just in walking distance from the Omar Ali Saifuddin Mosque. Brunei's tourism board advertises this place as the Venice of the East. Personally, I think this is one of the best environments in Brunei to dive into the traditional Malay lifestyle. If you are lucky, you may even see one of the people practicing traditional fishing. I highly would recommend to visit the southwestern side of Kampung Air, just across the bridge near the Omar Ali Saifuddin Mosque, as this side feels the most traditional. Walking on the pier, you'll be passing plenty of traditional Malay houses, as well as schools, police station, or even floating mosques. Hopping to number two, we're moving to the very best things to do in Brunei. The silver medal goes to the mangrove forest tour, as it provides a quite an impression of different things. Yet still more of a secret, this tour is a must for all nature lovers. First passing through the modern side of Kampong Air by boat, you will be taken all the way to the periphery of Brunei's ancient rainforest. Once you reach a mangrove forest, soon you're gonna appreciate the beauty of this pristine natural habitat. Listening to the sounds of the jungle in the shadows of the trees, you're probably gonna feel very calm and relaxed, despite the hot temperature and high humidity. If you're lucky, you may even spot one of the famous proboscis monkeys of Borneo, they're very well known for their noses. The really good thing about this tour is that the boat driver keeps looking for new spots, which I not be able to see one of them in the beginning. <laughs> well, frankly speaking, the tour was even quite a surprise to myself. I didn't really expect to be taken to such an amazingly beautiful world. Another great thing about this tour is it's gonna cost you only about 50 Brunei dollars and maybe split the costs if you're traveling in a group. Alright guys, and now let's check out which places really won my heart during my Brunei trips. 
Number one goes to the amazing and beautiful Ulu Ulu Tembrong National Park. Well, probably you may never have heard of this place, but this is really something you have to include if you're traveling to Brunei. The Tembrong district is a little bit difficult to reach, however, once you arrive in the national park, you very soon gonna understand why I put this place all the way to number one. Entering the longboat, you'll be taken upstream all the way to the canopy walk and you're gonna pass an incredibly beautiful scenery of a 140 million years old rainforest. By the way, it's one of the oldest rainforests in the world. Quitting the boat, you're gonna have to walk up several hundred steps of stairs and then climb the shaky and rustic tower to reach the canopy. Standing on top of the tower, I'm sure it's gonna make you have goosebumps, not because it's dangerous, but just because of this incredible beautiful view. Look at those trees beneath you, standing above everything, overseeing the world, this is what I call a bella vista. Unfortunately, I did not have enough time to come here during sunrise, but I heard it's a lot more beautiful, so you better check that option if you're planning a trip here. After enjoying this incredible beautiful view, you're gonna return to the resort and spend a quick visit at the nearby waterfall. Afterwards, you're gonna be offered a ride in the tube to float downstream to the river of the jungle and this is the highlight of the tour in my opinion and probably the reason why I would keep this trip in my very best memories as it was one of the most beautiful days I've ever spent on traveling. What I really enjoy the most during riding the tube is that you don't hear anything but the insects of the jungle and this really allowed myself to really forget about all my worries and all the stress. Afterwards, the tour is gonna be concluded by a Malay lunch and then you will be taken all the way back to Bandar Seri Begawan. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you want to travel to Brunei, you should definitely plan in about 2 to 5 days, especially 5 if you want to include the jungle activities. If you want to see more of my travel photography, please follow me on Instagram on Jemographic. I'm posting a lot of travel pictures and stories there. And if you want to see more of my upcoming travel videos, please subscribe my channel here, Gemographic, on YouTube. I also want to take this opportunity to say thank you to my good friends, D, Amir and Ajiz. Thank you very much, guys. You were really awesome. And in conclusion, I want to thank all of you for watching this video. Thank you very much and see you soon.